you're gonna have those moments where you feel like this is it like you don't want to do it anymore you're just tired because making your passion your career is such a hard heavy thing and um i don't think a lot of people realize that you're gonna want to get cozy for this one today welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel I am so excited because today I'm gonna share with you guys 10 tips or 10 things that I wish somebody would have told me before I started all of this, before I started being a nail tech, before I became a little shop owner, renter, whatever you wanna call it. So I wrote some notes so that we can go through them and so that I don't skip anything. I just wanna make sure that I cover a good bit for you guys because this is something that I know a lot of people really need. So we're just gonna jump right in. Number one, I see my little notes, so cute. I love my little iPad, it's such a nifty thing to have. Never thought I would own one, but I do now. Anyway, the first one, I'm gonna kinda get the basics out of the way, okay? So number one is definitely, I know nails is such an exciting thing to get into and there's so many things like, nail art and designs and all these fun things that everybody just wants to just jump straight into but girl you have to get the basics down first you need to know your nail anatomy you need to know safety and health and what it takes to make a healthy nail so understanding the basics and just the structure of the nail before you jump into any type of designs and art is very very important because these are people's hands that you're dealing with okay like these are people's nails this is something that you see every single day so it's something that you don't want to take too lightly you don't want to like think of this as like a game this is something that is serious and for people that are doing this on the side just please make sure that you know your laws and your state and everything and i know all this in the beginning is boring but it's important because there are serious consequences for people that work from home or do this just as a hobby or whatever so just please make sure you know the laws and regulations in your state and how many hours of schooling you need and so on and so forth so this brings me into number two when you do start doing nails try to stick with one enhancement first of course learn your manicures your gel manicures and everything um but whatever enhancement that you're wanting to do stick with that until you perfect it and then any other enhancement is going to come to you a little bit easier so for instance i started with acrylic the first thing i ever touched was poly gel i hated it i didn't like it i can work with it okay now because i have perfected my craft with acrylic and I don't do acrylic anymore. I'm just doing gel X and gel enhancements. So it wasn't that hard for me to jump into other things because I already had my prep down. I had everything down with acrylic. I could do acrylic in my sleep. So that is another thing that I am recommending to you is to just stick to one type of enhancement and perfect it. And I promise you it'll take you so much farther than if you're just all over the place and doing a whole bunch of things and like jumping from one to this to this to this just stick to one everything will come it takes time so number three this is something very important please 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 practice on yourself hundreds thousands of times before touching someone's hands especially if you're using an e-file because listen i have cut myself countless countless of times i have burnt myself countless of, countless of times because i'm practicing on myself i'm figuring out what feels good what doesn't feel good am i able to use this much pressure should i use less pressure you're gonna learn what it feels like to do someone else's nails by doing your own because if you're just jumping straight into doing your friends and family's nails you are going to mess them up okay you're gonna mess them up you're gonna go too deep you're gonna use the e-file too much your acrylic's gonna be running everywhere you're gonna get gel over their skin it's gonna be a mess it is gonna be a mess and if you don't want to just practice on your hands which i strongly recommend because that is the most personal practice that you're gonna get is practicing on yourself. Throw on a YouTube video, 
Sorry if y'all just saw spit when it flying. And I apologize. I, my shop is right on a highway, so you're going to hear cars. Apologize. Just try to focus on me. <laughs> but yes, please practice on yourself because it is the most personal connection you can have with, with doing nails. And you can also get mannequin hands and all of that um, when you start doing like other, other things that are a little more difficult on yourself, such as like designs and art and um, anything like that. So number four, now we're gonna get a little a little serious, okay? You have got to throw your fear out the window. This is something that is scary because I'm sure a lot of you are wanting to start doing nails so that you can have your own business and that so you can have financial freedom and just have this this different jump from like coming from retail or a restaurant or whatever and and I promise you, it is such a luxury to have this job, but you have to get into the mindset of that. You can't come into this scared. I, yes, I was nervous, but I had been through so many different things before nails just for whatever reason came into my life and it was natural to me. It, I, I can honestly say I picked it up really quickly and easily. And so I, I literally went to school a month after I started doing nails but if you know this is something that you want to do you just got to go full throttle honey don't even look just don't even look back just go full throttle if this is something that you feel like is really calling into like on your heart and i know people are probably like oh it's just nails but it's like this is a career this is like setting the foundation for your life and not to say that you have to do this for the rest of your life because i'm not sure if i want to do this for the rest of my life but act like this is something that's in, really important to you because Yes, it's a passion, but it's also a career and it's also making me money and bringing in, you know, it's making, helping me survive in this world. So fear, girl, she got to put her on the back burner. I know she's going to come up. She's going to creep in a little bit here and there, but you just got to, you just got to flicker off your shoulder and just keep going. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. So number five, once you get into this and you're, you're you're a good bit in you know you've learned a lot don't don't limit yourself to two things and i know don't don't compare this with when i said learn one enhancement i mean don't limit yourself to your creativity um meaning find your own style in this like that is really how you're going to win in this nail game is finding your own style because i know it's it's really easy to just recreate and recopy people's stuff all the time i still do that every single day if somebody brings me in a picture i'm not going to like say no i don't want to do that um because it can kind of take away from your personal creative freedom and like your style and figuring out what you like what you don't like doing because i promise you when you're in this for a little while you will start to see what type of art you like to do. You could be someone who likes to do rhinestones. You could be someone who likes to do um, acrylic art. You could be someone who likes to do gel nail art, which is what I like to do. I like to paint. So um, you're gonna find the certain things that you like to do. And once you do, you're gonna find those crowds of people and those people are gonna attract to you because that's what you're gonna be posting and um, advertising. So. That is another thing I should have added in here. As soon as you start, make an account, make an Instagram or whatever you like to post on, make a TikTok because that is gonna be your personal portfolio and tracking your progress because I love that I started posting. I posted my first that I ever did and it was ugly, okay? So it wasn't that ugly, but compared to now to me, it's kind of ugly. But start posting because you're going to want people to notice you. I don't care what it looks like, post it, keep track of it because you're going to have those for when you're amazing and people look back like, oh, wow, she did it. She did it. Okay. All right. So what are we on? Number six. Yes. Understand what type of environment you want to be in. Okay. Me saying this, do you want to be someone who works in a salon because nothing is wrong with that. Like if, if you want that experience and you want to have salon experience with other people and, and pedicures and manicures and working with a bunch of people and different people walk-ins and coming in and out like that fast paced type of environment. Um, I personally did not want to do that. I knew I didn't want to go into a salon when I was in school because school was kind of 
that experience for me was salon environment because it was fast paced walk-ins, um, working all day, basically, um, not really knowing what you're going to get in. There was, it was no appointments. So I knew that I wanted to be somewhere where I could have my own scheduling and I could have, I knew every single day what I was going to have, which you kind of have a couple of options with that. There are salon suites which um, are basically buildings that people rent out and there's different rooms in them and everybody has their own little their own little suite within a business. So you have a small business within a big business, essentially. Um, what I did, I just kind of had an opportunity to work in someone's barbershop and that's how I started. I worked for a year in a barbershop. I booth rented there. Um, it was just me and another barber and um i gave myself a year i wanted to be out and have my own little space within a year so um luckily it it, it worked out that i got to stay in the same retail space that i am in and i'm just in my own um my own little shop so that's what i'm in now and i love it because i don't mind being by myself i i it's no drama honey <laughs> no drama so just kind of figure out what environment you want to be in. Do you want to be in a salon? Do you want to be in a suite where you're around a bunch of other um, like estheticians, massage therapy, waxers, um, cosmetologists, nail technicians, like that's kind of the environment, but you're in your own room. But me personally, I love having my own little shop set up. It feels like home away from home. So just while if you do go to school, just kind of figure out the environment that you like see fit for yourself don't let anybody portray what they want to do onto you make sure it is solely something that you want because this is going to dictate everything okay like th this is going to make or break a lot of your careers with this because not everybody is meant for salon environment not everybody's meant to be by themselves so it can cause burnout all right i'm not going to stick too long on that <laughs> seven you are going to hit a lot of roadblocks in this industry. You are going to have breakdowns. You're going to have moments where you feel like you want to quit. And believe me, I just went through a big one. Um, God, we're not going to cry today. <laughs> we're not going to cry today. Water sign problems. Anyway, I just went through a, a big, big break. Okay, so you're going to have those moments where you feel like this is it like you don't want to do it anymore you're just tired because making your passion your career is such a hard heavy thing and um i don't think a lot of people realize that like it's fun and it looks luxurious which there is that side to it but there's also the bad side there's also the days where you don't want to get up out of bed you want to cancel all of your appointments like you're gonna have those days and that's what brings me to number eight is make sure that you have a why and a tip that I can give you for this is to, when you when you decide that you wanna do this and you decide that this, this is the life and the route that you wanna go, I want you to sit down and I want you to record yourself and I want you to talk to yourself in the camera and say what your why is, why you started this, what what brought you to this, this path, why is it so important to you to, to start doing nails, to start this journey in, of business and entrepreneurship talk to yourself really like pour your heart out you don't have to share it with anyone you can keep it tucked away in your photo album whatever but just make sure that you are being genuine with yourself because you're gonna have to go back to that video because i did this this is i'm telling y'all this from experience if you can hear my voice is very um emotional to me i was just casually scrolling i actually did post mine um it was a video about your why and it it just came back to me like that spark, that light bulb. It was just like, oh, I needed to be reminded that this is why I did what I did. So I cannot stress to you how important that is to do for yourself so that you have the track record of why you began this in the first place because you're gonna hit those walls, okay? Number nine, this is a super freeing career, okay? Like it is fun. I had the realization a couple weeks ago that I'm like, wow, I literally sit, do nails and watch Netflix for a living and go home and make dinner. And um, yeah, like it's it's kind of awesome. It is, it is fun. Like you're gonna have your bad days and you're gonna have a lot more good days, I promise. 
your good days are definitely going to outweigh the bad but it is such a freeing experience to know that if i don't feel well which i was just sick the past three days so i had to reschedule everyone like i have that option and there's really the only consequences is that i have to find time to reschedule everyone but i'm not gonna have to come into work and listen to a boss yelling at me because i was sick and i used too many days of leave whatever so it is it is a freeing experience okay and number 10 do things exactly how you want to do them and what i mean by this is create everything like do your environment how you want um learn your style how you want um pick and choose your clientele okay you can fire your clients luckily i've never had to do this before but you can you're the boss who are they going to run to if you don't like someone's energy there's the door you know of, co of course don't be rude don't give them the same energy but kindly you know if if this isn't gonna work i would you know you can go somewhere else or just ask that they never come back or block that person whatever okay you don't this let's not be crazy but you can okay and yeah just make sure that this environment is exactly how you want it to be and you not all money is good money okay remember that not all good money is good money because those type of people are gonna be the ones to make you hit those walls and make you want to quit and question everything but anyway that is about it but i am gonna give you guys a tour of my salon i'm gonna wait until the sun goes down a little bit because it's really pretty when the sun is like in here with all my plants and stuff so it'll be like a second for you but <laughs> i have another client and then i'm gonna give you guys a little tour of my shop and everything and please feel free to leave any questions at all in the comments about it um no i have a, such a small little community on here but i'm so excited to start this youtube journey with you guys and i appreciate every one of your likes follow subscribe whatever you don't have to i'm definitely not going to be the person that forces you guys to do that um but anyway i really appreciate you guys for watching now you can match a face to um my voiceovers but anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, day, night, whatever. Thank you. This is my shop storefront, you guys. So when you first walk in, you're pretty much just straight in my shop. It's a 650 foot square foot space, just a retail space. Um, I have my cute little fish tank set up right here, my business license and um, inspections. These are my pretty little plants I have. Um, and this is Mr. Sam Bluey. Don't forget to say hi to him when you come in. He's so cute. Look at him. <laughs> he wanted to show out for you guys. So yeah, that's my little setup. And this is my, my shop all together. And this is a mirror that I painted gold. Um, it used to be a different color. I thrifted it. Those are my um, license, my beautiful money tree that I thought I killed one time, but she came back. <laughs> And yeah, that's the front. So this is just a cabinet that I have with um, some storage and stuff in it. I just keep extra things that I might need. Um, I actually just kind of organize this and just keep like cords and stuff. And it's a little dusty, sorry, but and files and buffers and stuff. And this is my desk. The white chair is where I sit. The black chair is where my client sits. And this is my gel polish wall. I just, most of the stuff in my shop I bought from like Marshalls, TJ Maxx um stuff like that um another mirror i had my uncle hang um this was actually a bathroom mirror he came and put it in for me and this is how i watch tv <laughs> so i can see it these chairs are from a thrift store called pings and dings in mcdonough georgia it's my tv um another I have another little storage thing over there that i keep like a bunch of stuff in it's another mirror that somebody just gave to me um and this is my cute little bathroom. I got that picture, I believe, from Marshall's. The one above the toilet, I painted myself. I DIY'd the mirror with some Amazon lights and vines. And I got this little cute setup from Target, I believe. And I just have another mirror back here. Yes, I have a lot of mirrors because, honestly, it opens the space up when you have a bunch of mirrors. But anyway, yeah, that's my cute little bathroom. Um, don't look at my toilet hanger. I have to fix it. And back there is basically just a whole storage unit. Um, this place that I'm at is a storage building. They just rent out retail spaces. So I have my own little storage garage. And yeah, this is my shop. Um, I love it. It's super cozy. And 
I, there is some more stuff that I do want to do to it, but this is it. I appreciate you guys for watching. Let me know if you want to know where I got anything. And, um, yeah, this is what I wanted to show you guys. It's so cute in the evening. And my shop number is 111. Keeping the angel numbers. Thank you so much. Bye.